Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. Let's just get started. Um, yesterday, I discovered that I only had 8 views in 7 days. 2 views in 48 hours. And I feel disgusted that I plummeted that badly. So, in order to do you guys a favor, I'm going to do something completely brand new. I'm going to tell you guys a unique story. There is an actual man named Junji Ito, who is a horror manga writer and artist, and he's made some of the scariest mangas in history of the world. And I'm going to tell you one of my favorites. Just so you know, it's going to be really scary. So I hope you don't mind. It's called Layers of Fear. Like, many years ago, there was a paleontologist who discovered a burial ritual that looked like a person that was in layers and found an artifact that looked like a newborn baby. Eventually, he grew obsessed with it to the point where he died a few years later. We now cut to the actual point of the story. There is a mother, an older dog, older sister, and a younger sister. The younger sister is loved by heart by the mother, but the mother despised her older sis her older daughter for being ugly. One time when they were driving and arguing, they got into a car crash. And due to the kind of injury involving a, uh, a traffic sign, I believe, the younger sister ended up having a part of her face peeled off. And when they went to the hospital, they realized something very interesting. Turns out, that younger sister didn't have any internal organs or bones, and instead had layers of skin. She had 19 layers underneath her normal layer because she was 20 years old which means there are 19 people in her body each symbolizing different ages like the annual rings of a tree and each of those layers had a consciousness so one night the mother decided that she wants her favorite daughter to be two years old again because that's when she was the most beautiful in her opinion. So she got out a box cutter, started peeling away the skin off of his favorite daughter's, off of her favorite daughter's face, and kept peeling and peeling away just so that way she could get to her favorite version of her favorite daughter. And she finally got to the two-year-old daughter. And then she asked the older daughter to help with the rest. Turns out, something disturbing happened. She was only two years old from the neck up. But from the neck down, it's all spindly, like the endoskeleton of a tree. And it was traumatizing. The mother decided that the curse that was inherited to the two daughters applied to herself as well. But problem was she didn't and she ended up peeling off her face. And I say both of the daughters because the older daughter, just like her sister, had a couple dozen rows of teeth in her mouth. But after all that controversy, a few years passed the eldest daughter didn't know what to do. Her mother and her sister were locked away in that dark room. And, in, and the younger sister was able to recover layers of skin over the years, but not to how she started. She ended up turning into something Lovecraftian and traumatic. 
imagine a hulking, like jangly abomination, with the voice and mind of a two-year-old. Mama, carry me. Carry me. Mama, Mama, carry me. Carry me. Well, that's one of my favorite stories from Junja Ito, as far as I know. He's created a bunch of other stuff. He created Uzumaki. He created Tomi. He created the Hanging Balloons. He created the Drifting Spores. And a bunch of other stuff, which are all very scary. And very impressive, to the point where some of them became animes. Because he was that successful at it. And some of them became live-action movies. So, that is something that I should keep in mind. I am referencing Junji Ito and his works to help with social recognition. Because since I plummeted a bit, I need to make it up to you guys. By telling you something, nothing to do with my creations, but literally congratulating the man who was able to pull off all of that stuff without breaking a sweat. I hope you're impressed, you know? And if you want, you could look up more stuff on Junji Ito. He's like Japan's equivalent of Stephen King mixed with H.P. Lovecraft, as far as I know. Hope you enjoy the rest of your time. If you guys want, you can like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the year, and the rest of the month, and Christmas morning and such. And until next time, in transmission.